I watched with amazement the press conference where Mulayam Singh Yadav, flanked by his brother Shivpal, announced hesitatingly he was expelling Ram Gopal Yadav for six years and then murmured into his brother's ear and mumbled in Hindi, Wo type ho ra hai. And what was being typed was the expulsion notice of his son Akhilesh Yadav from Samajwadi Party. We know what happened next. But for me, that moment sticks to mind as it was the defining mo moment of how an old patriarch lost the plot completely. I have met Mulam many times in the past in his better and tougher days when Netaji, as he is known, held the strings together. He possibly anointed Akhilesh thinking the young man would remain a puppet on a string. He propped up satraps like Azam Khan, Shivpal, Naresh Agarwal and a few others, all of whom were sure to ensure Akhilesh would remain weak and supine. Even the return of Amar Singh or allegiance with Don Mukhtar Ansari were all done without Akhilesh's consent. Mulayam often publicly reprimanded his son saying he had no control over the party and he would himself intervene as and when required. Mulayam never bargained for a stage where an under pressure Akhilesh would retaliate. Akhilesh realized he had nothing to lose by staging a revolt. At least that would ensure he had the reins in his own hand. With the assistance of Ram Gopal Yadav, he triggered a coup where most of the party lawmakers openly sided with him. They gave signed affidavits owing allegiance to Akhilesh. Mulayam forgot one huge basic fact. You cannot take on the chief, chief minister so willfully, even if the person was his son. Mulayam lives in the past, is plagued by ill health, mumbles incoherently and depends on props whose best time is over. People like Shivpal may claim to have built the party at the grassroots level, but they cannot command the respect of the younger lawmakers or followers who swear by Akhilesh. It also does not matter now whether Mulayam gets the party election symbol or not, or if it gets frozen by the election commission. Mulayam has been played. It is game over for an aging Mulayam who also has to cater to his second wife's family, where his ambitious daughter-in-law Aparna Yadav wants a place under the sun, like Dimple Yadav, wife of Akhilesh. It's too early to conjecture whether Akhilesh would win the coming state elections, even if he ties up with Congress. BJP is certain to put up a formidable fight, while Benji Mayawati is playing the Brahmin and Muslim card rather well by issuing over 200 tickets to this combination. Even as Mulayam went on droning how he built the party and made so many sacrifices, he clean forgot the old order has changed, yielding place to new. And his main allies are again ghosts of the past. Amar Singh is no longer what he used to be. Shivpal is isolated and being brutally targeted by Akhilesh's men. The Samajwadi party story proves one thing. Change is constant and it doesn't matter who built the party. Who rules it now is what matters the most. Shipal Yadav rightly sang the song, Kasme Vade Pyar Vafasab, Baate Hain Baaton Ka Kya.